Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at an air temperature of 60 degrees. Well, 58 now. Just went down 2 degrees in the last few minutes. And the dew point value at uh, a 54. That is a low, dry dew point value. We love that. Uh, with the air temperature and dew point combined, the air just feels so much more comfortable today, I think, than it did a couple of days ago. At least that's my opinion. I think it feels very nice indeed. Northeast wind coming in at about 6. Those northeast winds will start to pick up in speed as we head into the weekend and another cold front comes through. The next cold front is actually going to knock our temperatures down even further and I know a lot of folks will then think that it's maybe uh, too abrupt to change, shall we say. I know our Becky Mayaka, who's reported in this morning with a temperature in the 40s, would certainly say that uh, nighttime lows in the low 40s are unacceptable. Well. It will warm up quickly, I think. 53 degrees in Wachula, 54 in Mayaka, 53 in Arcadia, 55 in Parrish, Bradenton, 56 Lakewood Ranch, 55 Northport. Punta Gorda comes in at 55, 61 in Venice, and 60 in Inglewood. So across the region right now, the frontal boundary has pushed far enough south that it's taken all the rain showers with it. We remain dry across the peninsula today. Locally, everything is very dry. We have uh, roadways that are in no way impacted by rain showers, probably for the next Seven to ten days, maybe? Could be. There's our frontal boundary right now, that stream of clouds indicating where the rain showers will be today. Also, across the peninsula, lots of sunshine in store for you. Maybe a few fair weather high clouds, but really that's about it. The air over the state, over the deep south, very, very dry, thanks to a big ridge of high pressure that's building in. As that high pressure ridge builds in, the next cold front moving into our area will be moving through area that's very dry, and so consequently won't get any rainfall from it. We'll look at uh, this cold kind of puddle of air coming down from Canada, setting the stage for scattered snow showers beginning today in Colorado, and then gradually drifting into areas of the center of a country as we head into the end of the week, and then in the weekend moving into the western Great Lakes. Some fairly heavy snowfall could occur with this system. Too early to give numbers yet, but uh, it certainly could end up being the first blizzard of the season. High pressure sinks south, winds out of the north, northeast today, bringing us fair weather, lots of sunshine, mild afternoon temperatures for the next several days, right around the 80 degree mark or so, and low relative humidity, making those 80 degree temperatures feel very comfortable. Our RPM computer model forecast shows that dry condition across the region. Now, maybe as we head into the beginning of the weekend, we might pick up a few clouds from the Atlantic as winds shift a little bit more to the northeast and start picking up, particularly on Saturday and Sunday. Might get a few more fair weather clouds, but until then, wall to wall sunshine. We continue to monitor the tropics. The Hurricane Center looking at this area down here. Doesn't look terribly impressive at this hour, but conditions are good for possible development here. 80% the Hurricane Center is giving this general region, this cluster of clouds, for developing into a perhaps even hurricane down here in the Western Caribbean. It'll probably just hang out here through the weekend and then maybe eventually be picked up and drawn up to the north and to the east. In any event, it's unlikely it will ever impact the state of Florida, but still too early to tell. It hasn't formed yet, so we'll keep an eye on it. North wind at about 10 knots today should make for nice boating weather. Two footsies like chop, and the forecast for the weekend calls for the next front to really knock down our temperatures, about 10 to 12 degrees. Daytime highs in the upper 60s, nighttime lows in many places. Monday night or uh, Sunday night into Monday morning will be in the 40s.